Na'Vi have a 71.4% win rate on Inferno in the last three months alone, with 62.26% of all of their round wins being won on the CT side. Because of this, we'll be understanding how Perfecto and Boomage lock down this B part of the map and consistently keep this era going for Na'Vi. Na'Vi, like many other tier 1 teams, have taken and understood how Astralis used to dominate on the CT side of Inferno using their utility and timings. We will see a lot of this in today's video and I hope you enjoy it. A little disclaimer before we start start guys all of the utility thrown in this video will be 128 tick so it will not work on standard valve matchmaking servers we will start off in the second round versus Gambit after Navi picked up the pistol round. Both Boomage and Perfecto have MP9s in this situation on the B side of the map, making sure that they prioritize their utility over any upgraded weapons. Boomage will go to Banana early on in the round and throw a close Molotov to stop any potential rushes from the side of Gambit. As he does not get any contact or even a reaction out of Gambit from this, he will then smoke deep and throw a HE towards Logs. This is to make sure he secures Banana control early on as soon as he can. Meanwhile, all of this is happening with Boomage taking this banana control, Perfecto is helping him out with pieces of utility. The first thing that we'll see Perfecto throw is a Molotov. He does this by jumping on top of the coffins, aiming at the second to bottom left coil, then walk jump throwing. This will land deep in banana, flushing out any T's that are either logs or mailbox. After throwing this Molotov, he will quickly get next to the blue barrels at dark, aim in line with the roof of this building, however a little bit more to the left as you don't want it to be exactly on the building, and then left click throwing. All of this utility will be complete supported from the side of Perfecto. This really does help Boomish take this area of the map and the main benefit for all of this is just if they go down Banana and it turns out Gambit does some sort of cheese strat and stack this area of the map then only one of them will go down instead of both of them. In the next round, we will see that Na'Vi wanting to take a fight early for this banana control by peeking behind car. Boomage will be throwing a deep flashbang before peeking in this position to see if he can catch anyone out. After seeing no one in banana, he will then throw a deeper HE towards T-Ramp before Molotov in close just in case he did miss anyone while peeking. Perfecto will then be in this position close to him, allowing for him to jump on towards half wall. They do fumble a few times, however, they do get Boomage into this position after the second try. For this round, as you guys already know, Perfecto will be going towards Car with Boomish to make sure that he doesn't get rushed down. Because of this, Bit will be the one throwing the utility for this early Car peak. If you're wanting to learn a little bit more about Bit and his role on Na'Vi on Inferno on CT side, I did make a video on this covering it very recently. When Perfecto gets to top of Banana, he will then immediately throw a deep Molotov. After this, he will throw a HE preventing himself from any T's trying to beat his utility. He will then position himself in a way allowing for Boomish to jump up from sandbags onto his head towards half wall. Watch as he is positioned like this and Boomage is jumping on top, he is never ever ever taking his crosshair off of the corner of half wall. Perfecto will then position himself behind car while Boomage is on the half wall. The reason he is positioned here is to play off of his contact. As soon as Boomage gets either flashed off or gets contact with an enemy player of the gambit side, this is when Perfecto will swing and either trade Boomage or just do Perfecto things and delete the entire enemy team. However, in this round we do not get to see this because gambit do not come back towards banana so perfecto will just throw a deep smoke before rotating off towards a Going on to round 7 now guys, even though it is a half buyout from Gambit, I do want to pay attention to what Boomage and Perfecto are doing and why exactly they're doing it. Boomage will start with a close Molotov before instantly bringing out his rifle ready for any duels he may face if Gambit do rush. As soon as he knows Gambit and I'll take in the space, he will then throw a deep HE and flash close, giving him the space of top banana. Because of the smoke that Gambit threw against Boomage's Molotov, he will then slip behind car and wait for it to fade. He will then receive a beautiful flash from Perfecto resulting him in two entry kills for Na'Vi and then notice how immediately after getting these two kills he falls back and does not agree for anything else all the way back to Coffin. Perfecto will be throwing the utility for Boomage in this situation. He will start the round off by going towards Coffin and getting ready with a flash if Boomage needs it. However, Boomage doesn't in this situation as we already know, Boomage has flashed for himself for top banana. Perfecto will then line up this Molotov by standing on the headshot angle of Coffin, aiming on the second black mark on the wall and jump throwing. This will land just behind half wall, pushing back any T's in this area that could be there. After throwing this Molotov, he will then get next to the blue barrels on dark and throw the same flash that we saw earlier, just aiming off of the roof. Notice that Perfecto straight away after throwing this flashbang, he will go aid Boomage as fast as he can. This is to make sure that Boomage gets out alive just in case there is any other Gambit members that may be chasing him. 
After getting these entry kills on Banana, they will then set up in a more passive late round setup. Boomage will be playing Dark and Perfecto will be on new box. As you can see, there isn't a lot of time left in the round for Gambit to get the bomb down, so all Perfecto and Boomage really have to do in this situation is just stay alive. As you can see, Perfecto drops a smoke in between new box and Pillar. This just allows for him to move around a little bit more and not be trapped in one position as much. Because of the smoke that Perfecto dropped, Gambit are kind of forced into a situation where they have to push them and take these duels in order to try get the bomb down but perfecto and boomage just clean up the last three members of gambit very cleanly in this round, Simple will be going with Boomage and Perfecto over towards B. This is a great read from Na'Vi, as in predicting what they think Gambit will do in this round, and it really does pay off. Boomage will first throw a deep HE, then cross towards Sandbags, and catches a little bit of a timing here. Because Gambit sees Simple on the corner, they do not expect for Boomage to already be in this position. Because of this, he does go unchecked, and he gets his first kill. Simple will then quickly pick one off straight away after that, and then using this momentum, Perfecto will then throw a flash, resulting in the third kill. On round 12, after Navi lose banana control, they start thinking of different ways that they want to play out this round. Boomage will drop a smoke on top banana just after Gambit use a fair amount of utility to clear out this area of the map. Navi are preparing for the worst here and being ready for anything that could happen. That is why Boomage gets close to the smoke and gets into an anti-flash position, ready just in case Gambit do push through this smoke. As he hears the pop from the flashbang above him, he does turn and catch one before being traded. Now looking at how Perfecto handled this exact situation after being full flashed is very very important. Even though he has a Molotov and a smoke still left in terms of the utility, he never uses them for this period of time. As soon as Boomish goes down, Perfecto knows any second there could be a T that just swings through CT and tries to duel him. For this reason alone, it just keeps Perfecto holding out his rifle and ready to fight. He's able to catch one of them off and then reposition, allowing for him to use his Molotov, and then later on in the round with the little time left, Perfecto does try to run towards Hobbit to pull him off of the bomb in a little like fake attempt I guess. However, it doesn't work in this situation. As Na'Vi are now in a 2v1 retake situation, it is very important that they use their numbers to the best of their advantage. Bit and Perfecto will then go through CT together, taking a fight on towards Hobbit and winning Na'Vi the round. I'll be starting a new series very soon on this channel. Just to clarify, this will be full rounds that I'll be reviewing and giving pros and cons to them and what you've done and ways you can improve it, basically. So don't just send me highlight clips unless, obviously, you just want me to say you did a good job or whatever. Um, the link to the forum that you'll need to fill in will be in the description of this video and also in my about page of the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the CT expert of Booming to Perfecto holding B on Inferno. If you did, hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you're new, guys. It really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and you can always unsubscribe if you do change your mind in the future it's been glaze guys and i'll speak to you very very soon